Hello to my faithful followers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel, Dawn Costores, Dawn Salzuego, um, realtor that specializes in residential and farm and ranch um, here in the Waco, Texas area, McLennan County and surrounding areas. Um, and I'm realizing right now that I wear this shirt too much. <laughs> um, so I'm here today, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm here today to give you guys um, our weekly market update. Um, I did a little video a couple days ago just to let you guys know that I had been ill and so that's why I'd been out and not doing my market reports and so um, but I'm here and I'm feeling hundred percent and ready to get going and ready to continue educating you guys on what's going on here in Waco so <clears throat> as always I want to try to keep it around five minutes because there's a lot of information to give um, and there's a lot of implications from the information that I give and I wish I had time to sit here and explain everything and, and go through all of the statistics and kind of what that means for the housing market. Um, unfortunately, that would be boring and nobody would ever watch. So try to keep it really short, um, give you the facts. And if you have any comments or if you have any questions, you can leave comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Um, or you can even reach out to me. Um, you can text me, email me, whatever. My contact information is available. I'll go ahead and give you my cell phone number, 254 three, six, 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 five, zero, zero. Feel free to call or text me anytime with any real estate questions. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, I'll try to keep it as quick as I can. Don't want to bore you. Just want to give you the facts people. Um, so today is August 16th, uh, 2022. And as of today, there are 790 total active listings in the Waco association of realtors, uh, MLS. Uh, there are 586 homes active for sale in McLennan County. Um, there are 319 of those homes are in the price range between 200 and 500,000. And just to mention for any newbies that have not heard me before, I usually just give that price range because it falls within the median price range of our typical um, homeowners here in the Waco area. Obviously we have homes that are more than 500,000 and we are happy to talk about those if you are in that market, in that budget. Um, but for the masses, 200 and 500 um, seems to cover most people. So it's not anything other than just statistics people. So don't get, don't get your butt hurt. Okay. So for the past, in the past seven days here on the Waco MLS, we have had 118 new listings, um, 89 price decreases, which we've talked about that before when um, there's a lot of price decreases. A lot of times that can mean that those homes were priced too high to begin with and are not seeing the activity. And so they're having to, to decrease that price. 25 homes have gone back on the market. You never know what the situation may be. Um, lots of times buyers' finances fall through, um, so you just never know why a house goes back on the market, but 25. Um, and then 98 uh, properties went under contract. That's with or without contingencies. I believe 10 of those were with contingencies, so 88 under contract with no contingencies. There were 86 homes that were sold in the past seven days, and we've had four expired. So... Now that you know what it's what's been happening in the past seven days, um, I want to I want to break down a little bit about um, <clears throat> give you some statistics. These come from TexasRealtors.com. Um, I've used these before. These are excellent excellent resources for realtors to be able to educate our clients and prospective clients, friends and family about what's going on in the housing market. So what I have done is I have pulled um, McLennan County. And then I have pulled one, two, three, four, five local school districts um, that are kind of, they're really our most active in the housing market school districts. That's basically why I choose them. It has nothing to do with the school district itself. It's just that these are the busy um, school districts that are showing a lot of activity. And so that way you know what is going on. So a couple of things that I want to point out. So I'm going to show you... Midway, just because that's where I went to school. That was my alma mater. So um, each of these sheets looks the same. Um, it has your school district. And so right here we have the three things that I'm going to point out are the things that I have um, that I have blocked out here. So we have median price, active listings, and closed sales. Um, for all of McLennan County, the 
the median price um, of homes in all of McLennan County um, is up 4.6%, and that number is 277,250. So that's our median um, house price in the McLennan County area. Um, active listings are up 60.6%. Uh, 517 it's showing right here in July of 22, which means it's up 60% from last July. These are year over year changes. And then our closed sales are down 1.3%. So I thought that was interesting that active listings were up so high, but our closed sales were down. Who knows what that could be about, you know? I mean, these are these are conversations that we as realtors have with each other, um, we have with homeowners. Um, so if you have any questions, please call me. Let's talk about it. Um, so... I've showed you what we had in McLennan County as far as our median price, our total sales, and our, um, I mean, our active listings and our closed sales. Now, for the school districts, and again, I'm hitting close to six minutes, and I don't want to lose you guys, so I'm going to just do this really, really quick and show you what stood out to me. So, in the school districts, <clears throat> out of the one, two, three, four, five, Waco, Midway, Robinson, China Spring, Lorena, the two things that really stood out to me... As you will notice here, the um, active listings for Robinson and China Spring, look at that, you guys, over 100%, and this is a 176% increase since July of last year in active listings. And then also interesting is that Robinson, as you would expect, with that many increased active listings, they had an increase in closed sales at 92%, right? Seems totally normal. But what's crazy is that over here in China Spring is that there was, was a decrease of 31% um, in closed sales in China Spring. So I just bring that up to say that, um, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Um, things are crazy. And um, also, this just gives you an idea of um, what's happening in that school district. So... So China Spring was up 118 in active listings, but down in closed sales. They only had 29 in July of uh, 22. So that means last year they sold more homes out in China Spring. We'll have to, st we'll have to start talking to the China Spring residents and see what's going on out there. Um, and then another thing that I thought was interesting to point out um, <clears throat> was on the closed sales in... Let's see, these three school districts here in Midway, Lorena, and China Spring, they all had um, increases in active listings, but they all had decreases in closed sales, and they were all over 20% in closed sales. So I thought that was really interesting, and like I said, I don't want to bore you. I'm not going to sit here. We're not going to go over, you know what all of that means. Um, those are conversations I like to have one-on-one. -on -one. So if you have questions about that, uh, please feel free to give me a call. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel so that you can be kept up to date on all of the latest market stats on the housing market here in Waco, McLennan County, and surrounding areas. So thanks so much for taking your time to listen to me today, and I'll see you in a week.